Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 72 and the question is number 11. It reads, a projectile fired from a point, a point zero or whatever point, on the horizontal plane with velocity 3i hat plus 4j hat meters per second. Find its vertical height off the ground when its horizontal displacement is one fifth the range. Find another time when its height is equal to this height. Sounds complicated, but to be honest it's, it's quite fine. Nothing we've done already. So as normal, I define g at negative 9.81 meters per second squared at this direction. I define our uh, xy plane, our, Cart our Cartesian plane, and I also define my unit vectors. I'm going to get rid of this number here, which is no longer required. So what's the first thing we do? And that is to sketch what's going on. So I'm going to draw a velocity time diagram. Not a time velocity diagram. Whatever is said first goes on the y-axis, so time measured in seconds. So this part, this particle is projected at initial velocity u, it's a vector. And it goes somewhere like that. Now, I'm going to do some parts of this quicker than I would usually, because to be honest, at this stage we've done nine questions that are carbon copies of each other. So this is a resultant vector, alright? u is a resultant vector, so u is equal to u sub x i hat plus u sub y j hat, where u sub x is here, and u sub y is here. Like that. That's normal. And we know what we're given in the question that that u sub y is equal to 4 and this is equal to 3. If we use Pythagoras, we'll find this is equal to 5. Like so. Anything else we're asked? Or we could, okay, we're asked, we're asked to find the range. So on a this or distance time diagram, and this now is a velocity time diagram, the range of course would be from when it started to when it finished. So let's do a bit of UVAST and we'll find out what the range is equal to. The x axis, y axis. Like so. We put in what we know. We know u sub x is equal to 3, u sub y is equal to 4, a sub x is equal to 0, a sub y is equal to g, and t for both is the same. If we use v is equal to u plus a t, we'll find that this doesn't change, and this is equal to 3t. We've done that plenty of times. Look at the other, other ones if you're really struggling. as in any of the questions up to here so far. This is equal to u plus a t, so it's 4 plus g t. And this is 4t plus a half gt squared, ut plus a half at squared. So we're asked to find the range. Well, what is the range? The range is when the particle has come to rest again, so it's gone its furthest distance along the ground. And that is when it's no longer in the air. So an s sub y is equal to 0. And that's equal to 4t plus a half, excuse me, half gt squared. Alright, so we need to, let's factorize this. Now of course this is a quadratic of, uh, uh, sorry, a polynomial of degree 2, or a quadratic, because the highest power is 2. And the easiest way to solve this particular one, of course, because there is no, um, we'll say it's 0 times t to the naught, because that's equal to 0. Remember, t to the naught is equal to 1, and 0 times that, of course, is 0, so it's, we can get rid of it. And because there, there is, because of that, the easiest way to solve this is just take out t. Two things multiplied together, one of them must be zero, and the other one is that, where I put in g. So let's do this, so 2 times 4 or 9.81 is equal to t is equal to, let's pull out my calculator, so 8 divided by 9.81 is equal to 0 0.81 seconds, like so, just check that out, 40 over 49, excuse me a moment now, correct, so that time is correct, 0 0.81. Next we need to do is 
find the distance travelled when t is equal to 0 0.81 seconds. So go back up here, we'll say t is equal to 0 0.81 and therefore this is equal to 3 times 0 0.81 and that's equal to 7.3, is that correct? No, it's not. 2.4. 24, 3, it's 24, of course. So 2.4. So is that correct? Just let me have a look here. 24 over 49 is the answer I have at the back of the book. And 0 0.48. Let me look at that now. I also need to go to the back of the book altogether. So 3A, question 11. Just bear with me now, please. over 245 0.52 what's the answer for that for excuse me a moment now okay sorry so that's the, the range we, yeah that's the range that's okay we're, do, we're doing okay so we need to find out what a fifth the range is because we're actually trying to find out its vertical height at a fifth the range so we know that the maximum range R is equal to 2.4. So R over 5 is equal to 2.4 over 5. And that's equal to 0 